Hello, uh, we're just going to have a quick run through really of the business GCSE course offered at Cardiff West Community High School. It's a, 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 a academic GCSE offered by WJC and offered by many schools. It's quite a popular course. Uh, I've got many students doing it this year um, and most students, almost all students really, uh, quite enjoy it. it. It gives students an opportunity to consider uh, in a wider scale things that they sort of already know about, in other words, about how businesses work and about how businesses start up, etc. Anyway, without further ado, uh, as an overview, in this course you're going to learn about aspects of running a business and aspects really of how businesses are run, why businesses exist really. Um, this will include how they're set up, how they're run on a day-to-day -day basis, who controls them, who the customers are, and how they reach their customers, both UK and abroad. There is some globalized, global business in the business GCSE. So there are five areas of study. There is business operations, which uh, we deal with first because that gear deals with the different types of business that exist from a sole trader to a public limited company. This talks about the different ways in which businesses are run and the different motivations that businesses have, the uh, different ways in which people are used or hired or um, utilised within the business. <clears throat> we then move on to influences on businesses. Uh, this is a unit where we look at how governments, taxes, inflation, uh, ethics, uh, the environment, influence the way that businesses operate and how they operate in, in the markets that they do. Um, then we move on to marketing, which is without doubt the biggest unit. This is going to be, uh, we talk a lot about pricing, uh, about how, how businesses advertise their products, how they put people into different groups so they know which to, who to advertise to, the ways in which pe uh, the businesses actually uh, seek out and find their customers, the way in which businesses use different sorts of media, such as social media, to attract and target their customers, and how they use different uh, promotions, etc., to actually get their message across and obviously increase their sales, really. Then we're on to finance, which is uh, at quite a basic level at GCSE, we look briefly at um, the how businesses work out whether they've made a profit and loss with a profit and loss account, how they work out how they're going to project and um, forecast for sales, etc., in a break-even point analysis. And then we have a look at how businesses manage on a day-to-day -day and month-to-month -month basis by looking at cash flow analysis. There is quite a lot of uh, calculations there. But the maths is not as difficult as you might think, although you need to be able to apply it. Then the last unit is human resources, uh, probably my favourite area. This is where we discuss and we look at different ways in which businesses uh, utilise the human element. So how they're paid, uh, the conditions that people work in, uh, the ways that health and safety work, how businesses really make use of their most important and difficult resource, which is basically running the people. Okay, your assessment. The assessment of GCSE business is summative. So in other words, you will do two exams at the end of your final year, at the end of your course. The first one will test your knowledge, and the second one is a smaller exam, which they give you a case study and you look at the case study and you answer some questions on it and basically carry out some advice for the business. The both exams have got a mixture between multiple choice, low mark and what, what we would call high tariff and there were six or even 10 or even 12 marks sometimes questions where you need to be able to write extensively. The use of technical terms is absolutely crucial here and then understanding what the question is, is very important. We're also going to do some group work. We're also going to do some small projects. We're going to look at individual businesses. You know, we'll probably start it off with how we, what business you'd start up if you 
we're, have, we're to have a business. We're going to carry out some presentations. It's very, very important in business presentations. Uh, there'll be some independent research with uh, using computers, using the internet to find out information about certain businesses. And then obviously we'll be carrying out quite a lot of old exam questions, which would normally follow the end of each um, unit. Okay, who does this course suit? Well, really, um, an interest in business is, 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 is very easy to understand. It's going on all around us. The adults that you know in your lives will invariably work in businesses. They may well even run their own businesses. They might work in small companies. They might work in very, very large companies. They might work in multinational companies. But you're aware that business goes on and you're aware when you when you go down to the shop or you get on a bus and you go to town, you're aware that business is going on around you and you're aware of their motives and why they exist. You do, it's best to, sorry, have an interest in current affairs. Business is central, really, to um, the whole global economy. So having an awareness of what's going on around you, uh, what different nations are doing, how, what new businesses are starting up, what changes in the law have happened within business. From looking at the news, it would be really, really helpful. Having good maths course is good, and it's also very important to be able to write clearly, and I'll say it again, using technical language. What about after business GCSE? Well, there's lots of courses in A-level business, lots of different varieties of courses, marketing and, and human resources, etc. There's also business tech business courses with a little bit less exam and a lot more uh, report writing it's much more uh, business based and then there's many many degrees uh, these include as I've written there marketing human resources accounting social media um, financial analysis etc and some people um, you know there's many students that I currently teach their intention is that they'd like to set up their own businesses. They may well have a, a business idea. And they might want to know a little bit more about it. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, if you've got any queries or any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Bump into, them, bump into me in the corridor. Come and see me, whichever suits, and I'll be able to help you. Thank you very much.